This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features in Premiere Pro CC, the 7.1 release. There's one more really big feature that I want to show you that is just really, really nice, and that's the integration with SpeedGrade. Let's um, open up this. I've created a completely nonsensical segment. Notice I've got the the barn in front of the Grand Tetons. We've got wheat fields in Iowa. And I've got a Grand Canyon sunset. What I want to do with the Grand Canyon is I want to take and apply a color grade to this. Maybe I want greater saturation. Maybe I want less. I could do it inside Premiere, but the color grading tools inside Premiere are a fraction of those available to us when we work inside speed grade. Now, I'm not a speed grade expert, so I'm not going to spend any time showing you how speed grade works. But what's cool is how easy it is to get projects from Premiere into speed grade. And if you've ever had to work with other grading applications like DaVinci Resolve, being able to see stuff on layers is impossible. You've got to scale everything down to a single layer. Here, notice I've got three layers going on. How do we send this project to speed grade? Go up to the file menu go down to direct link to Adobe SpeedGrade. Now the first thing you have to realize is I have not saved anything in this project. I haven't hit Command S at all. So the very first thing it asks me is, uh, do you want to save this? And I say yes. That quickly it saves the project and sends it over to SpeedGrade. SpeedGrade isn't even running on my system, so it wakes up SpeedGrade and says, hey, smell the coffee, pay attention. And SpeedGrade starts up. It then loads the project. This is real time. I have not done a single edit, and I'm running on a two-year-old iMac, so we're not wasting any time here in terms of our color grading. There's our images. As I grab the playhead, there's our Grand Tetons. There's the image for the wheat field. And there's the image of Grand Canyon Sunset. And notice that the layers are intact. I can move from one track to another. I don't have to coalesce it all down to a single track. So I want to apply a color grade to Grand Canyon. Simply select the clip. And I look down here, and let's look under Examples Desaturation. And I'll apply the Desaturation clip. Just double-click it. When I double-click it, it's applied to whatever is selected up here. Now, there's a lot more that I can do in terms of color grading, but the operation of speed grade has not changed. What has improved is the integration between Premiere and speed grade. So to get it back to Premiere, you go to these arrows all the way up in the top left corner and click on the fourth one in. It says, let's send this back to Premiere. It knows I haven't saved it. it says, you want to save this? I say, yes. It saves the project, opens it up inside Premiere, and that quickly, all of my clips with the color grading is brought back from speed grade to Premiere. This is an amazingly powerful workflow because I don't have to render. The saving is automatic. I take advantage of the speed and editing power inside Premiere and the color grading power inside speed grade, and I end up with a fraction of the hassle and the workflow time that I had to, to use before this upgrade. This is really cool. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the new features inside the latest release of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 113. Thanks. Membership is a great way to stretch your training dollars because a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. Access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.